Well, hello. So, um, some of you would argue why I would show an Electribe with an Arturia, because, well, both are sequencers, and um, you shouldn't actually need an Arturia beat step to control the uh, Electribe. But um, I also want to show you the easy setup of the RK2 DUI firmware on this uh, zone manager. Um, there's a sort of a built-in quick setup for the Electribe, which you can initiate by uh, having the RK2 discharged and uh, plug it into the beat step or any other device while you keep a key press. So this is tricky to show you with the phone in one hand and here and uh, doing the procedure. Anyway, it's MIDI out. You have to, yeah, here. I'll keep a key pressed. And one, two, three, I release, and now it's in training mode. So every key, every pad I press now will be uh, trained to the channels on the Electribe. So like this, I press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now all 16 are trained. I press the first key again to exit this training mode, and now it's all locked. So now I can just start playing. So, uh, well, the advantage is you don't have to use the Arturia MIDI Studio, uh, you have to go to a computer and start it up and define every key and channel. Uh, on the computer, upload it to the BeatStep Pro, and then finally you can use it. And now you can just plug it in, train it, and you're ready to go. Uh, well, like I will demonstrate with a small beat, can't help myself. Nice thing uh, compared to the um, Electribe sampler is the randomization feature on the Arturia. Well, so far, well, I haven't even, even touched the Electribe, uh, but um, yeah. It's uh, again a handy little sketch for the RK2. Bye bye.